Hey, it's James. Welcome back. We're on Vashon Island, the west side of the beautiful Colvos Passage. This is the body of water that separates Vashon Island from the Olympic Peninsula. I'm exploring the shelf part of Colvos Passage, and in particular, places where fresh water runs out into the sea. It's a very interesting ecosystem, brackish, partly salty, partly fresh water. And in this area, there are eelgrass beds extending for great distances before the bottom drops off precipitously. I'm exploring the eelgrass beds by ROV. That's a remotely operated vehicle. It's like a little submarine drone. I send it out on a 42 meter cable and using a video monitor, I see what the robot sees. So it can cover a vast distance, much faster than I could if I was just out there kicking along with fins. Eelgrass creates an underwater shallow jungle where animals can hide and bigger ones can hunt. This is a marine plant and it's unlike seaweed, which is an algae. This is a true flowering plant that grows in the salt water. Red rock crabs scavenge the bottom for detritus, dead rotting matter, seeking shelter nearby an old broken off piling. Lysabula in the surrounding area was once home to a great industry. Many docks and boat works graced the shore, but now the whole area is a park and just the broken tops of the pilings remain. Underwater, there's a lot more evidence of the once burgeoning economy. Chunks of cast iron and masonry are about all that have survived the salt water. That, and perhaps a drifted in article from a more modern industry. Anything strewn along the bottom is quickly colonized by opportunistic animals and plants and algae looking for a foothold. Mysteries and mysteries lurk in the eelgrass, but the sun is setting and even robots have to go home at night. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.